Okay, now I'll show you how to present the logos to the client as I do. Here you can see a document saved down in Illustrator of an A4 sheet with four rectangles with gradients applied. On each of these rectangles I'm going to place the four logos we designed earlier. Each rectangle has a gradient applied to give an almost paper-like effect. I feel this is a more effective way to present logo designs rather than have them on a plain white background. It helps the client to visualise how it might look on stationery for example. Being subtle in its appearance so it doesn't detract from the logo design itself. I'm going to show you the document in more detail. I have my company logo at the top. This is just for branding purposes to say that this work comes from Webcore Design. At the bottom of the page, I have please note that all images herein unless applied are copyright of Webcore Design until project finalization. This just informs the client that the work isn't theirs until the project's been finalized, after which time the copyright is granted. So we own all images on this page until the client agrees upon one of the final designs. In the layers panel you'll see that we have all elements of this document locked down so that things don't move around as we're placing the logo designs on top. Now there's several ways we could present logos to the client. For example, we could have two of these rectangles per page and that might be appropriate if we're only presenting two logo designs. If we're presenting a wide series of logo designs, we could do the following. Clicking on the artboard panel, at the bottom we click new artboard. Now this creates another artboard which, after unlocking these layers, we could highlight and replicate across. holding alt shift and we have two copies so this would be appropriate obviously if we wanted to forward eight logos to the client for now we concentrate on the artboard to the left so I want to go to the artboards panel click artboard 2 and click the trash can at the bottom right hand corner which is delete artboard delete those elements and now we need to place our logos on top of these rectangles in this document. So you go ahead and open all of your logo files up. And you go in. Highlight the logo, full selection. And you go to group and objects, just to make sure that all elements are tied together. Then edit and copy. I like the control and V to paste in. Which has became a habit of mine. So that's the first one placed. Just trying to make it as perfect as possible, centered with the rectangle. And we go to the next logo after opening the logo design file. Highlight null object group, edit copy. And we paste this one in. And we place that as centralized as possible. And we go to the next logo. Highlight and all, object group, edit, copy, and we paste in to control and V shortcut again. Alternatively, we could have went to edit and paste. And we perfect this so that it's centralized. And we open our last logo design file. Highlight all so that all elements are selected, object group edit copy and then we paste this final logo in and we resize and centralize do some final adjustments to ensure that the page as a whole looks correct and looks presentable And this document can now be saved, ready to forward to the client.